Happy holidays. Welcome back to Dr. Bagpipe. This is the fifth video and appropriately for number five, we're going to be uh, looking at pentatonic scales. Um, in the last video, number four, I introduced the idea of um, some simple yet um, additive scale work exercises that could be used for uh, piper warm-ups, but also could be um, building blocks and rudiments for improvisation, scale-based improvisation. Also, um, most tunes and many melodies are primarily based on stepwise motion, it's moving through uh, from one note of the scale to the adjacent note, either above, above or below. So scale work is really, really important to, to develop. Now in Highland piping, um, most of the music you will find is classifiable in, uh, or moves between what are called pentatonic modes. Pentatonic meaning five tones. Um, one thing to discuss about pentatonic modes is that um, though there are five notes, there is uh, one of those five notes is kind of considered the center or a tonic, or a ton, you know, in the, even though it says pentatonic, there, uh, the concept of a tonic is like the final note or um, the first and last note of a piece. What is the center or the key? So uh, I want to show you these uh, modes that are available uh, through a lot of Highland music and also apply uh, the additive exercise from uh, the video number four that I showed you and how that can be applied to a pentatonic or what they call a gapped scale. So here's the first one in low G. High G is the octave and it continues on the high A. But essentially the five uh, set notes are and then repetitions at the octave. A lot of Highland music uses this. To apply the additive exercise that I did earlier in, in video number four, Nice to get familiar with all of those intricacies in uh, contours and small rhythmic divisions. The next mode that is very common in piping is sort of centered on low A and is uh, like the one before it, uh, three adjacent notes and then a gap and then another adjacent note. And then the octave high A. To apply the number four a video scale, additive scale. You can build on that, okay? You can see how this um, pattern work can lead to um, structured improvisation if you chain them together. Okay, uh, the next mode that's very common in Highland piping is a pentatonic mode built on D. It involves three adjacent notes, a skip note, and then another adjacent note. But because the bagpipe scale is fairly condensed, it involves scooping back to the octave below to get that um, fifth note of the scale. or including the high A or low A as an equivalent. Now this one, the additive scale does not work as well because um, there is the octave skip, but you could apply it in one of the other voicings or transpositions. Okay. Now, I'd like to introduce the idea of um, three other modes uh, that are kind of built on some of the other notes. Um, we had a pentatonic built on low G, a pentatonic built on low A, a pentatonic built on D. I'm gonna introduce a couple more uh, that are built on the other notes. Uh, we have seven notes in the scale. Of course, two of them are octave, high G and high A. 
But within the seven notes, if you just take five of each built on those seven notes, there are additional modes. Now these I use because they are uh, very reflective of uh, the types of scales and modes that are used in Southeast Asia and Japan, and in particular, my own research, Balinese Gamelan. Uh, I have used these modes in my um, Blarvuster compositions and um, uh, beyond, like most of my light music, and some of my, even my P-Rocks use these modes. One is called Tembong, uh, but you can think of it as a pentatonic mode uh, in a minor, um, kind of a minor triad uh, built on B. And you can use the octave equivalent low G. Right above that is a mode built on C. Um, sometimes in Balinese theory it's called Sunarin, but uh, you know, for Western people, it kind of resembles a dominant seventh. Additive exercise applied to each of those modes. Um, kind of fun sounding, right? Uh, definitely uh, not the same type of interval combinations that are um, prevalent in Highland music, um, mainly because there are, in these scales, there are half steps. Um, the other ones only involve, um, you know, full steps or larger. Um, whole steps, as they say. So in that way, um, they are, uh, the term is called anhemitonic. They don't have any half steps. But these other modes are full of half steps and um, have a lot of leaning uh, forward, you know, in terms of these small intervals. And then a, th a third one, which I'd like to add, um, is built on, let's move up. See, we had one on D, we had one on low G and low A, and th these other sets are built on B, C, and then the next note that we haven't covered a mode for is E. Uh, this is sometimes called borrow in Balinese theory, but um, also is, you know, practically uses other names. Because there's no high B and no high C, we complete the scale by going to the bottom hand. And I can add, um, you know, in that exercise that we have in number four. And what I do, you know, get fluidity between all five notes, um, smaller sets of those notes. Um, Oh, and the fourth and final mode, which is um, sometimes called silicier in Balinese. Um, it's a very nice, happy, bright, sounding mode that is full of half steps. Um, it essentially, um, those of you that know music theory, it kind of is built on a Phrygian mode. And for the bagpipe, uh, it kind of starts on F. Three adjacent notes, a skip, and then another adjacent note. Because the chanter scale is compressed, uh, it involves going to the lower octave on the bottom hand. You can also include the lower octaves, low, low A and low G. Oh, there's a little bit of a you know, a syncopated use of that additive exercise within the lower voicing of the Silesier scale. Okay, hope you enjoyed those scales in review, going up the entire scale of the chanter. E one. 
and then the F one. Okay, enjoy. Hope you can make some music out of that. Stay tuned for the next one. DrBadPipe.com is coming. And also check out the YouTube channel, subscribe, and also follow on at DrBadPipe on Facebook. Okay, happy music.